All right, we're getting up and going live. If you're watching this later, this is this was recorded live. I have got a ton of information to throw at you. We'll see if we can get through it here live uh, without getting uh, too muddy with things. Yes, I did a video back in December. Things have changed. And so, yes, uh, Harley, Senna are now supporting the high definition speakers for the Boom Audio stamped Senna headsets, the 20S uh, Evo and the 30K. Back in December of last year when I did this video, they were not. It was only for the non-stamped, um, I don't have it on here, but it was only for the non-stamped Senna uh, headsets. So um, that has changed through a firmware update for the uh, Harley stamped, uh, again, 20S Evo and 30K. So that's awesome. You will now actually, when you put these aftermarket uh, or, or these uh, replacement speakers in your helmet um, and you hook them up to the Senna, you will now get true HD sound. Let's not forget that the 50K, which Harley doesn't make a 50K, Harley's, Harley and Senna, but the 50K regular Senna, it already comes with these HD speakers. So now we can take which is the newest model, the 50K, we can take that great technology and we can retrofit our 30Ks, both Harley stamped and non-Harley stamped headsets. So that's exciting. And let me tell you, all I can tell you, I can put a helmet on and pass it around. Oh, it sounds so good and pass it around to everybody. I don't know, my headset's talking to me, but you, you know, that just doesn't do real good to me. All I can tell you is I've experienced it and I've tested it with the regular speakers and I've had some time with these awesome HD speakers. 39 bucks in the Law Abiding Biker store right now. What a awesome upgrade. I'm not just saying that. Since my last video, we have been even having troubles keeping these in stock. Links to everything I talk about in this video in the description below. If you appreciate everything we do to try to help the biker community, to try to serve the biker community, uh, you want to support us and you're interested in these, uh, please head over and get them directly from the Law Abiding Biker store. The guys over there will ship them out with a little love to you. Um, get them out right away and in your hands. So let's talk about easy replacement. So again, Law Abiding Biker store, links description below. We're going to move even more of these now because again, with your Harley stamped, all right, the ones that Harley sells, um, you can get that HD stereo sound. And all I can describe it as is you kind of get, it's a lot louder. And when you actually activate the high definition stereo sound on these speakers, it just really opens up everything. It opens up your highs, your mids. You just get a really nice crystal clear sound so much better than the older speakers. So. Um, we'll go through some of that. Um, let's talk about the, uh, I've got some notes here just to make sure because I've got a lot to talk about. Version 3.1 is the new um, update on this headset on the Harley one, all right? So let's, ta let's talk about the, uh, what these are good for. The speakers are good. As you can see, for the 50S, the 30K, the 20S Evo, and the 20S. So you can take your old speakers, replace them while we're talking about that. One thing worth noting is the older speakers that you're going to take out. These are my older speakers to the 30K. All right. Very simple. You all know they just Velcro in there in your cutouts. This is a Shoei Neotech. Um, I'll link to my helmets in the description below too for you guys if you're interested in those. This is the one I wear for street. But there's a little tab on there and there's a screw. And so it actually screws in here and we'll get up close and the new one, the new replacement speakers don't have that tab. It simply just plugs in right there. And so they must have did something where it just to secure. I haven't had any problems with that falling out, but just be aware there's a little tiny screw on your older speakers that you're going to have to take out. Um, and then you're just going to plug the new one in. I just put the little screw back in there just in case I ever need it. And I screwed it back in, but it doesn't actually secure this. So that's something to be aware of to update your, um, to update the firmware guys. Um, so this is an, actually, I don't know. I don't have my other headset. It's over there on the workbench. It doesn't matter, but on this, this is my, uh, Scorpion, uh, EXO AT950. 
I use this for street and adventure riding off-road. I am I already filmed a review on this. I just haven't put it on the channel, so that's coming. Link in the description below. I've had a year to test this thing. It's badass for both street and um, my adventure riding. But uh, so if we're just doing the Senna regular guys, the non-Harley stamped Senna headset. All right. Um, obviously, you put the headset on here just like the one here, and you're getting with the new speakers, you're getting the true stereo sound. That's one way to do it, pair your phone directly, all right? We do sell the Senna headsets, the non-Harley stamp ones, right in the Law Abiding Biker store, link description below if you wanna get hooked up, and you can get hooked up with the new speakers, or heck, even get yourself a 50K, which is the newest model. We sell all that stuff in our store, um, but that's one way to do it. Regular Senna headset paired from your phone, from your phone, directly to the Senna headset and bam, you're up and running. There's two different device managers on your laptops, PC and Mac um, supported. One says Harley, one says Senna. If you're gonna update your regular Senna headsets, you need to go to the Senna website. I have resources um, below or on our store listing. Do you need to get the regular Senna device manager? They are different. The softwares are a little bit different because there's a codec in the Harley stamped ones um, that make them really proprietary to Harley in the way they kind of work. But the regular device manager, make sure you update your, fir your uh, firmware in your headset, regardless of which one it is. You'll need to do that on the laptop. Link in the description below on a video I made to show you how to update your Senna headsets. Get that updated before so you make sure these new speakers will work. Now there's a Harley device manager too. That's for the Harley stamped one, it is different. You can get it on the Hardy website. Um, you can get all the Hardy software uh, that you need for this or the boombox all over at lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Harley boombox. Correction, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Harley software. And that'll take you, it's a quick link directly to the Harley software page. Um, you can get the Harley Boom Senna device manager and uh, you can get that updated. You do need to update this, to, which just came out. It's version 3.1 as of the time of this video. Or this will not work, okay? So the other thing you need to go in and do um, on your regular Senna headsets, all right, is you need to go into the app and this is just the Senna app, all right? You guys can see it here. Um, download it on your smartphone, and you just need to go into basic settings, all right? And once you go into basic settings, scroll down, you see this HD speaker accessory. Don't just put these in your helmet and then think you're gonna get stereo sound. You will not get it until you activate HD high definition speaker accessory, and you gotta turn that on, and then you will notice a big change. The speakers alone sound better as they are, um, just putting them in. But let me tell you, when you activate that little deal, it sounds awesome and you really unlock the power of these speakers. Again, I think it's like a no-brainer upgrade for 39 bucks, man. You've already invested in your headset. Um, just the clarity of the sound and the fullness of it is amazing. Okay, so let me go back to my notes here to make sure we're covering everything. All right. So you might ask, well, why don't I just go like this helmet with a regular Santa headset, non-Harley stamped, straight to my phone, to my headset. I do that on my adventure bikes because they don't have a boom box infotainment system like on that Harley behind me. Um, so when I'm rocking my adventure bike, I'm actually gonna turn this on, we'll get to it in a second. Get that going. Um, when I'm rocking my, uh, uh, this helmet on adventure, that's how I'm doing it, because I don't have a boom box system to go through. It's a cheaper way to go and a, be uh, a good way for a lot of people. But if you have a Harley Davidson motorcycle and you want to integrate into that boom box infotainment system, you're going to pay the Harley tax. They're going to charge you more for the headset. You, we can't sell those. Um, I don't have them in our store. It's connecting there. I don't have them uh, in our store because it's a Harley brand and you can only buy them at dealerships and Harley uh, uh, places like that. So you'll pay the tax. This is a 30K. Harley only has the 20S Evo and the 30K. Um, but the reason is, is if you want to get Apple CarPlay, if you want to integrate with the boombox, if you want true stereo sound, number one, you won't get it with a regular Senna. If you want to activate Apple CarPlay on the boombox infotainment system or you want to Android Auto, 
you got to have the Harley stamped boom audio. They hardly made it that way because they're forcing you to buy their headset. They put Codex in it between Senna and Harley. Uh, you can agree with that or don't agree with that, but they, it's what they did. And uh, it's pissed a lot of us off because a lot of us had regular Senna's. But anyways, if you want full functionality, you want stereo sound, you want all that stuff, you got to get either a Harley stamped Senna headset or a wired Harley branded headset. And that way you can get the full functionality in the boombox system. So I want to talk about that a little bit. That's the benefits if you, if you want that boombox integration. Of course, you can just, some guys just avoid the boombox altogether and they just go straight to phone to helmet and they may use the boombox just for navigation. Really, that's personal right or preference or I like that, you know, uh, I, my boombox doesn't have it, it's the older version, but the new GTS versions of the boombox, 2019 and newer models, that's the one that has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and all that. So that's kind of a nice feature that a lot of people want to get involved in. So um, let's go, with that said, let's go over to the Harley. We want to talk about just a few things over at the Harley boombox for all you Harley guys that do want to integrate. And I've got my boom box on, all right? Now, one thing you'll wanna note is we're gonna go in, let's actually go into our boom box settings here. And I'm gonna go, I've got it on, and I'm gonna go down to uh, setup, all right? Now we're gonna go to the wire, the WIM, the wireless headset interface module. And you guys all know that, it's the wireless headset. That's what you have to install on the boombox to make it Bluetooth capable. They don't come out of the factory that way. Um, all the regular models and special models, you actually have to add a whim. Of course, we've done a video on exactly how to install a whim, but this bike has it. And that's really what is uh, making the headset pair to the boombox. So we can go into wireless headset and you can see I can uh, manage my rider headset. All right, so this is one of the issues. So what we're gonna do is when you, here's, here's the way it works. I thought that they would update the whim, but I looked, the last update on the whim um, itself is back in uh, January of 2018, and I forget the version it is. It hasn't changed, I looked today before I did the video, because I thought they would update the whim so that you would get extra settings in the boom box like we have here, because in here are extra settings. Here's what you need to do. You need to, uh, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and go in. The first thing you need to do to get this activated is your Senna, let's see, let me get my Senna app, is you're gonna have to go in and pair your phone with your, pair your phone with your 30K Direct. You gotta skip the boom box, okay? Just, even though your headset's already paired to it, I know this is ridiculous, because there's no settings in there to do this. So. Go into the Senna app, pair it, just like you nor pair a normal Bluetooth device, you all know how to do that. Then the Senna app, go into that basic settings and you gotta activate through the app, you gotta activate the stereo sound. You will not be able to do it at the time of this video through your boombox. There's no settings in there, okay? So activate that. Then what we wanna do, remember, your phone pairs to your boombox and then your headset pairs to the whim. The problem is, is if you have your headset paired to or the, the, the headset paired to your phone, you're gonna run into problems because the boom box is, and is gonna fight over the signal between your, between your phone and the boom box. So the best way to do that is I'm just gonna go into general, or excuse me, I'm gonna go into my Bluetooth settings and Bluetooth. I'm gonna go ahead, you see my 30K is connected. Now that I've activated my speaker settings in the Senna app, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect, all right? So I don't wanna be connected anymore and now, my headset will be, uh, you can hear it there. It's connected to my boom box now because they were fighting over each other, okay? So now we can go in and go into the wireless headset, manage rider headset, and you can see I've got all my stuff now. So it's unfortunate because you can go in to configure your headset and you can go down and you can see there's no settings for that high definition speaker settings. I've been through all these settings before the video. That's why I thought they would update the whim and maybe they will in the future because it seems like you should be able to activate it in here. It, it's really stupid, but hey, we're all used to that by now with the boombox system, right? Um, it just, it makes no sense um, that Harley's doing it that way, but that's the workaround is pair phone to headset, activate the HD speakers. I just don't want you guys to get these speakers and not activate that and just 
turn on your boom box and go, oh, they sound a little better. It should sound a lot better. And if it doesn't, it's because you haven't done that. So activate it phone to headset. Once you turn on the, uh, um, once you turn on the HD speakers, bam, disconnect your Bluetooth so that they're not fighting and it should still be paired to your boom box, just like mine was. And then you can have that high definition sound. So as we finish up here, we're going to move back over there. That's pretty much it uh, on the boom box. Oh, geez, about tripped on my wire there. About went down live here. That would have been catastrophic. Would have been made for good video though. Um, let me just go through my notes. Uh, let me just go through my notes to make sure there's nothing else, guys. Um, and I think, I think that's it. All the links, guys, and don't forget, I showed you real quick on the boom box there. That's a real quick overview. If you want to get in depth with both the older version, 2014 to 2018, and then you want to, uh, or information about the new 2019 and on Boombox GTS, um, we have been selling those videos since 2014. They are primo tutorial instructional videos. If I pop through that and you're like, holy cow, let me tell you, those videos, there are number one selling videos and they have been for many, many years now. It's our Boombox uh, tutorial, uh, uh, tutorial videos. Um, on the Boombox system, it's actually a series of three and then we have another one on how to use Harley Ride Planner, plan your routes, integrate that with the Boombox. Um, and then we have a software update on all how to update software and maps and dealer locations. It's a, the system has a lot of capabilities, but it's not that user friendly. We take, um, we take the learning curve out of it basically and we'll teach you in a way that is easily understandable so you can find all the hidden menus and the most efficient way to use it and to get the most out of it because you've paid a lot for your Harley. You want to get the most out of that boombox system and we really break it down for you. We get nothing but five star reviews on those videos. Guys love them. I'll link to it in the description below but we'll go through in a lot of detail and you can find out all your settings and we do go through headsets um, and pairing headsets and all that with your boombox and break it down. Um, I just breeze through some of the, the stuff there just for the purposes of this video. Okay, guys, I hope I didn't make that confusing. This was a hard one to do live, but I wanted to make it live. Um, you're not done on this channel. There you go. I'm going to pop a couple videos on the screen here in a moment. Um, hopefully something useful uh, or entertaining. Heck, maybe both guys. Most of all, when you're done watching videos, when you're done on this channel, you want to get out, get out there and just freaking ride guys. And uh, thanks for uh, tuning in. If you have any questions, links in the description below to our store and stuff, you can hit us up. All right, guys. Peace.